she left, and my little partner in crime was here to say good morning. Anyways, where are my Saturday at? How are you guys feeling? Thank you so, so much for joining me this morning. Um, yeah, let's get started. I've had a, a history of running really long lately, so I think this workout might be a little more in the range I was looking for, but uh, I'll try to keep my talking a little shorter so we make sure that we're not running, you know, into an hour and 15 minutes like we did last Saturday. So uh, thank you so much. I hope you guys are all doing awesome. What you will need today for equipment, super simple. You need one heavy hand weight and a yoga mat. The end. Huh, how easy is that? <laughs> so, um, you know, optional. So what we are working, we need one heavy hand weight. If you are somebody who is lucky enough to have a whole kind of wide selection of hand weights, then grab yourself a couple that you would call on varying levels of heavy. Um, you know, heavy for your legs and heavy for your upper body, generally two different things. Um, we're not doing any, if I remember from what I wrote yesterday, we're not doing any single-sided work today. So everything will be with two hands. So that kind of helps with the upper body gauge and how heavy you can go. So um, if you have a selection, get, you know, a lower body heavy and upper body heavy, maybe even on the, um, if this makes sense, lighter spectrum of the heavy, I think is kind of what I'm getting to, a, a heavy heavy and a light heavy, if that makes sense. So that's really all you need, and then we are going to get on the floor some today, so just, you know, your yoga mat, your blanket, your whatever you need to be comfortable on the floor. So that's all you need today. Um, I've got my awkward, crazy, excuse me, crazy weight set, so um, my heavy on some things probably isn't going to be as heavy as I like. You might see me try to awkwardly kind of stack a weight on top of the weight just to make it a little heavier, but um, just bear with me on my fumbling with my weird weight set. Okay, I still can't seem to get any online, so this is what we're working with. All right, so grab a lot of equipment. I'll kind of walk through um, the things we need to know for today and we'll get started. All right, so uh, what we're doing today, if you haven't seen my um, Facebook post, is called One Heavy Weight, One Strong Body. So again, just exploring what we can do um, with the equipment that we have and what our bodies can do for us and different ways we can use it. So um, I didn't really start this workout series with the intention of really much of anything, except for giving you guys a workout, but I've sort of taken this opportunity um, to sort of explore and let you guys all sort of learn what you can do um, with your body. You don't have to just go to the gym and do the same thing or just pick up the hand weights or just toil away on a machine. There's all sorts of different things you can do to work your body. And sometimes you're feeling a certain way, sometimes you're not. So lots of variety, lots of things you can do. So don't feel stuck. So we're gonna do three sets of exercises, or I'm sorry, we'll do three exercises. That'll be one set. We're gonna go through that three times. We've got four kind of intervals of those. So uh, we're looking at 12 total exercises. So we'll be working kind of the way we have the past few weeks. Three exercises, three times through, three exercises, three times through. Okay, so that's what we're looking at. Reps, no time. I am keeping the timer running just to make sure I don't go crazy with our time. Um, we are going to be working in reps since we are doing one heavy hand weight and what your heavy you have at home might not be the heavy you normally have at the gym, might be heavier, lighter. Um, I'm going to say that we're working between 8 to 12 reps. Um, depending on how heavy your heavy is, if it's really heavy, um, then you might only want to do 8. If your heavy isn't really what your normal heavy would be, maybe you want to do 12. Um, even the option to go to 15, you know, um, we're moving at a pretty, pretty good pace. So it's not like um, if you do 12, you're going to get super far behind. You're going to know where we're going. So work in the 8 to 12 range, 15 if you really, really need it, if you don't have a heavy hand weight. Okay, so I'm going to go really whatever my range is, somewhere between 8 to 12. So just don't feel like you have to stop if I stop or you have to keep going if I keep going. Um, as always, add music. Uh, it sounds like my washer is draining over there, so that's my current music. <laughs> but uh, add your music. Um, I won't have any here. Um, always Facebook running for questions. I will check between every set just to see if anything um, pressing has come up. And um, as always, modify, modify, modify. Um, I haven't spent a ton of time on modifications the past few workouts because um, there hasn't been a ton, anything can be modified, but there's nothing I've been like, oh, if you can't do this, 
Um, but if you need that, let me know. If I'm not doing a good enough job with modifications for you, just let me know. Um, it's hard when I don't know who I'm working with. I don't want to spend a ton of time on modifications if the people that are watching don't need it. So if I'm not hitting what you need, just let me know. I'm happy to help you. Um, as always, share, share. Please, please share. Um, we've talked about this a couple times lately. I've been getting feedback that people aren't seeing my post, even if they like or follow me. So the more, the more we share, the more people feel like this is an important video that Facebook needs to, uh, their algorithm goes, oh, this video is important. And then it'll start putting it in front of more people. So uh, please, please share, encourage your friends to move and uh, give these workouts a shot. And last, if you do want to send um, any donations my way for these workouts, Venmo at Strong Style Fit is where you can do that. All right, so I'm gonna grab a drink of water. Um, you go ahead, get your equipment all set up. Where we are going first will be in legs. We're gonna do, um, all these movements are pretty simple. It might be a little different. Um, for some, there might be one or two that seem really different, but for the most part, I think they're gonna be things you've seen before. Um, simple movements, heavy weights, that's kind of what we're talking. So um, go ahead and be thinking, goblet squat, sumo squat, and a weighted bridge, okay? Or you can call that a line hip thruster, either way. All right, so get yourself set up. I'm gonna grab a drink of water. I'm gonna come look and see if I have any comments before I get started, and then we'll get going.
roll down towards the ground. Don't let it stick up behind you like a duck butt, as I like to say. Ooh, I just love my balance. I'm at eight here. Nine. Ten. Eleven. And twelve. Beautiful. All right, we're going down to the floor. So we've done bridge in just about every workout. We've done some variation of bridge. So I'm not going to spend a ton of time on it. But the difference is we're going to have this heavy weight sort of sitting on our hips. So let's let it back. I'm going to hope my little headband doesn't fall off. <laughs> All right. Accessorizing when I work out is a very new thing to me. I'm trying to make it look a little more interesting. All right, so we have our feet in line with our hips, heels close to our booty. We're gonna set that heavy weight down on our hips. So not up on our belly or our chest, down our hips. You wanna hold on to it though, and we're gonna push up. Two. Three. So really drive that weight through those heels. You don't have any weight in those toes. Five. Squeeze that booty tight at the top. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. And twelve. Awesome work, guys. All right, set that weight off to the side. Let's bring it back up. We're going to go back through that again. Goblet squat, sumo squat, weighted bridge. All right. So remember, you're working the 8 to 12 range, maybe even up to the 15. Um, my knees are feeling pretty good today, so I feel like I could go even heavier. But I don't really have that choice with my weights. So I might go to 15 on some of these. So again, don't feel the pressure. 8 to 12. 15 if you really, really need it, okay? All right, goblet squat. So we got our feet wider, toes flared out. I'm holding my weight wrong to our chest or in the bow tie. Shoulders down. Let's go. I say my knees are feeling really good. And with it being so quiet, you can just hear them going all the way down. Four. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'm gonna go ahead and try. Thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Cool. All right. So we've got our sumo squat. We're going wide. Toes flare out more. Roll the shoulders back. Drop that weight down. Let's go. Two. Three. Four. You probably see me look down a lot. I'm just always checking for. Especially since I don't have a mirror to look at. So I just always like to check. Make sure my knees are going where I want them. I believe that's nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. All right, way to bridge. Right. That weight to our hips, lay it back. Set that bridge up. Feet in line with hips. Close to booty. Weight sitting on those hip points. Let's drive it up. One. Two. So it's all about that squeeze in the back of the legs and in that booty. We're 
we're just keeping hands on the weight. So make sure it doesn't roll down and hit us in the face. And for those that know me know that if weight is going to roll and hit someone in the face, 11, it's going to be me. 12, I'm going to keep going. 13, 14, and 15. Good job. Roll that weight off to the side. Set it up. All right, we're going into our last set of this. Now, this is our only leg work today. So, if you have that option to go heavier and you haven't, just because you're kind of saving yourself, do it now. This is the last set of legs we're doing. Do it now. Add that heavy weight on. All right. Perfect. So, let's set up that goblet squat. Feet a little wider than hips, toes slightly flared out, shoulders back and down, booty sits back. Want a little extra at the top of that squat? Just give that booty a little squeeze. Never hurt to throw some booty work in there, right? Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. You got it. Keep going. Thirteen. Fourteen. And fifteen. Awesome. All right, sumo squat. Take those feet wide, toes flare out, roll those shoulders back, show off your awesome sit coffee, sit puppies wear belly shirt. <laughs> All right, let's go. One, two. If everything in your squat works well, then your knees, your hips, all that, you can go to touch that weight down to the floor. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Keep going if you want it. Thirteen, fourteen. 15. Awesome. All right. Last way to bridge. Whew. I'm sweating. Are you guys sweating? Goodness gracious. All right. Weight to those hips. Roll it back. <sighs> Set that bridge up. Feet hip width. Heels close in. Weight to those heels. Should be able to wiggle your toes at any point. Secure that weight. Let's push it up. One, two, three, four, five. Squeeze that booty. Squeeze the back of those legs. Seven, eight. Keeping my belly tight. Nine, ten. 11, 12, three more if you want it, 13, 14, and 15. Nice. Load that weight off. Set yourself up. Woo! Good work, guys. Simple movement, but you have that heavy weight. It's no joke. I am glistening. I can feel it. <laughs> Alright, so this is our break. Catch your water, catch your breath. Whew. Can you give those legs a little shimmy shake? Go for it. We're not using any more legs this exercise. I mean, we have to stand, so we're using our legs, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to come around, check comments. Um, just so you know, where we are moving next is we are moving to 
a front raise, one heavy hand weight, bicep curl, tricep extension. So we're working opposing muscle groups, adding a little bit of shoulder in. So we really want to go again heavy, upper body heavy, and um, see if we can get some fatigue in those muscles. All right, I'm gonna catch another sip of water, check comments. Hello, Will. Hey, Will West. And now I see my sister Daphne's here. Hey, family's all here. It's like a little mini reunion. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad to see you. And thank you, Melissa. Thank you. I just got it. Um, it's an organization called, I, I think it's Grounds for Hounds. So it's like a coffee subscription service um, where proceeds go to animal charities and I saw this tank top and was like, yes, I need this. So between this and my uh, yoga and puppies shirt, my two, two favorites. So awesome. Thank you for the comment. All right, guys. So we are um, working front raise, bicep curl, tricep extension. So just a couple notes I want to throw at you real quick while we're cooling down a little bit, catching our breath. Is um, I know for me it's a big challenge. Um, I'm not trying to be graphic, but I'm a heavy chested woman, so my shoulders naturally kind of do this. Most of us, anyways, our shoulders naturally do this because we work in front of our computers, everything we do, mechanic, whatever it is that we do, we're working out here, so we're always crunching these muscles forward, keeping them really tight. So um, I'm going to consciously be, especially because I've got this little shoulder impingement thing, really thinking about keeping my chest open because we're going to be working with one weight. So our arms are going to be more forward than normal, which is going to make our shoulders want to do this. So I will probably be consciously, you'll see me kind of doing this number. I encourage you to kind of do the same. If you see me do it, kind of check yourself and go, are my shoulders back or am I starting to do this? Okay. So just be mindful of that, um, especially with that front raise. We are going to have to have our shoulders roll forward a little bit, but we don't want to be here and we don't want to be up here. Okay. All right. So grab your weight for that front raise. I've got my, I'm going to set up my secondary heavy hand weight for this one. Um, just because, again, I have a shoulder issue. I don't want to get it angry. In fact, you know what? I'm going to start with the lighter one just to see kind of get it warmed up. So if you have any issues, you might want to consider the same. All right, so really exaggerate that chest open. Keep those shoulders down. So there's no momentum. We're not doing a big swing. We're slowly raising. And we want to stop about chest, shoulder height. We don't want to come up in front of our face. Eight.
13, 14, and 15. Awesome. Oh, I really wish I had the opportunity to go up a little further, but I can't. I'm still holding on to this weight. It makes me kind of sad. All right, so tricep extension. We want up over our head. We want to pull those elbows as forward as we can. For some of us, that's a real challenge. Again, for that reason I was talking about. So some of, you know, we might be flared open a little bit. Just do the best you can. You just don't want to be out here. Okay, so whatever you're doing, try to push those elbows as forward as far as you can. We start up above our head. Stance is up to you. I like sort of the kickstand, stagger stance. We drop it down and up. Four. Again, no momentum. Control it all the way down, all the way back up. Keep that muscle engaged the whole time. I'm at nine, 10, 11, 12. Woo, that weight's getting heavy. 13, 14, and 15. Woo, the weight was getting heavy there in the end. <laughs> All right, take just a second, shake it out. Kind of roll those shoulders, really. Think about chest open, chest open, okay? All right, I'm gonna go to that front raise. I'm gonna try amping my weight up a little bit. We will see. The cool thing is, is, you know, you always have the option, explore. I stress so much what I'm doing to tell you that it's normal, um, that if you start really heavy and you need to bail and grab another weight, go for it. But that doesn't mean take the easy way out. So go for it if you're like, ooh, that injury's flaring up, drop the weight. Or if you're like, I can't possibly lift one more and I'm only at four, <laughs> drop that weight. Don't just do it because it's hard though, guys, okay? All right, so let's set those shoulders back, get that base set. All right, front raise. One, two, three. Remember, no momentum. Four. Stop it at about chest height. Five. Six. Check those shoulders. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. 13, whew, 14, last one, 15, nice, good, good job, guys. Ah, let's see, all right, we have our bicep curl. Man, I would really like to up my weight. <laughs> I'm like, how can I do this? I'm just gonna see. I don't think this is gonna be anywhere near enough grip. But I'm gonna check it out. All right, roll it back. Keep that chest forward. Elbows locked in. Three. Four. Forward, elbows locked in. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Keep going if you want it. Thirteen. Fourteen. And fifteen. Good job. Huh, that was not the most comfortable for me, but it was all right. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep trying it. Remember, just a reminder. We're working anywhere from eight to 15, which I know is a wide gap, but all of our weight selections are different. Our heaviest might not be the heaviest that we need. 
are heavy, it might be a little too heavy, but we don't have anything in between. So, eight to 15, anywhere in there is good, all right? So, tricep extension, load that weight overhead, set those elbows forward, forward. stagger stance, if you're gonna do stagger stance, just make sure you get a little bit of knee bend in the front, okay? All right, let's go. Rolling that weight coming down, squeezing it to the top. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15. Good job. All right, we have one more trick through. Front raise, bicep curl, tricep extension. Reminder, I'm gonna keep saying it, keep that chest open. It's just so natural for us to do this. Open, 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 okay? All right, we got front raise. Whew. Who says you can't sweat while working upper body? I mean, I can sweat from walking across the room, so what am I saying? But I <laughs> hope you guys are getting a good sweat, too. Okay, so roll our shoulders back. Chest shines open. Let's lift. One. Two. Try to relax that neck. Three. Remember, we're working our upper shoulders. Our neck really likes to get involved. So send those messages. Relax, neck. I don't need you. Seven. Eight. Nine. Keeping that core tight too. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. I'm really working now. Fourteen. 15. Awesome work. All right. We got that bicep curl. Let me try my little awkward weight set up here. You know, I also point this stuff out because I don't want weird things like this to discourage you from working out. Just give it a shot, you know? It feels silly, but heck, I'm doing it in front of the camera for the whole world. So if I can do it that way, you can do it in your living room. Okay, so let's go. Bicep curl. Shine that chest. Tuck those elbows in. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. This is great. I really wish I had my weight gloves. Nine. Woo, feel it. 11. 12. Three more if you want it. 13. 14. Last one, guys. 15. Nice. All right. Woo. Dripping, dripping. <laughs> okay, we got that tricep extension. Woo. Roll that shoulder out just a little. All right. Tricep extension, taking that weight up overhead. If you've been doing stagger stance, maybe switch out your front leg. Just keep that other leg from getting too tired. Pull those elbows forward. Start at the top. Drop it down. Two. Three. Weight's getting heavy. Keep pushing. 10. See what you can do. 11. 12. I'm going to keep trying. 13. 14. 
Embrace that shake. 15. Woo! Yes. Ah, that's such a good feeling. I know I've talked about it before where your brain's like, I don't know. And your body's like, oh yeah. Oh yeah, we are. It's the best feeling. Mind over matter. Because in that case, I'd be matter over mind, right? <laughs> All right, that's the end of that set. I'm officially sweating in my eyeballs. Hmm. So that's good work. Ooh. Wow. All right. So where we are going next is a double row. Again, one way only. Double row, what's called an A-frame chest press and a dumbbell pullover. So that's what we're looking at next. The row, we'll do standing, A-frame chest press, dumbbell pullover, it's gonna be on the ground. I will say, if you are somebody who is uh, lucky enough to have a weight bench at home, go ahead and grab the weight bench. That's actually gonna be an even better option, especially for that dumbbell pullover. So if you have it, grab it. We're still kind of in break mode, water, I'm gonna check comments, so you have a minute, go grab that bench if you have it. If you don't, the floor is 100% acceptable. You can just get a little better range on that pullover if you have a bench. Um, you can also use the stability ball if you really want to challenge yourself on that pullover instead of a bench. So, your choice, your option. I'm just going to be on the floor. Join me there. Take another drink of water. Check comments. We'll get going. We're looking great on time. So, um, we have this chest. Um, chest and back set, and then we have a core set, and we'll be all done. So we're looking good for about an hour, guys. All right, I'm gonna check comments. Hey, Crystal Barrett. Ah, oh, man. So good to see you here, Crystal. I hope you're getting to do some of these workouts. I have missed you and Miss Trisha so much. So I'm really hoping that you're able to do these. I know I lost both of you guys kind of related to one another. So I'm happy that you guys are getting to join me this way. I know Trisha has been. I hope you have been too. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. So before I get on the floor, well, actually, we're going to start standing. So I'm going to quickly talk you through all of it from standing. And then, of course, we'll break it down once we get there. So we're going to do a row with one weight. So we're going to hold. If you have a normal weight set, you'd be holding the end of the weights this way. Or for me, I'll be holding this way. You also have the choice. If you can hold it comfortably, you can even try an underhanded grip. Your choice, but for most of us, grabbing here is probably going to be easier. So we're going to row. A frame press is going to be holding the weight like you're making an A over your chest. So think like an A frame house. So you'll have your shoulders back on the mat, hold the weight like an A frame, and we're dropping that weight straight down and then dumbbell pullovers where we hold the weight kind of cup the weight we drop it back and pull it over our chest so just to kind of get your brain moving in that direction all right one more drink of water and we're gonna get to those rows all right so we got the row this is one again where i would definitely want to go heavier but i know i need a good grip and I can't get it the way I had that bicep curl set up, so I'm just going to make do with what I got. All right, so I'm going to get that set up, shoulders back and down, chest shining forward. I've done rolls a whole lot, so you're probably like, yep, Tracy, got it, check. <laughs> so we're going to put a little bit in those knees, set our booty towards the back, tip forward just a little bit, weight comes out in front. Shoulders back and down. We scrape those elbows past our belly, past our sides. Squeeze those back muscles. Let it go. Seven. This is definitely a light end for me in rows. 14, 15. 
Right, good job, guys. I'm gonna bring it down to the floor. So the next two exercises are gonna be down to the floor. And roll this stuff out of the way here. light in for me so I'm going to be going to 15 most likely for all these exercises but again remember you have the choice anywhere from 8 to 15 okay all right so load that weight up you want to go ahead and put it to your chest and then lay back all right so got our feet about hip width we're not going to bridge or anything like that so what you do with your feet is really your choice but this is your best setup here, but as far as how far your heels are away, that's gonna be your option. So A frame, we hold that weight, like we're making an A over our chest. Again, over our chest, not our head, not our throat, over our chest. We drop straight down, push it back up. So when you get to that push up at the top, I really want you to think about squeezing those pecs together, okay? That's where your press really comes in. All right. So let's go. One, two, three, four. Squeezing that chest at the top. 13, 14, 15. Now, I will show you one thing real quick on those. So, I'm a thicker girl, thicker chest. If you are more on the narrower side of body type, you could feasibly drop your elbows all the way down to the floor or tap the floor or graze the floor. My body shape just doesn't allow for that, okay? So, you might have the option to come all the way down. I just don't have that room to move, okay? All right, so dumbbell pullover. We're gonna grip, we're gonna cup that weight. We're gonna really, really engage that core. Lock those shoulders down, nice long neck. We're gonna drop that weight, a little bit of bend in those elbows, behind our head, tap the floor, pull it back over. Drop it back, engage that core, squeeze those back muscles to pull back over. So we're working those big muscles in our back. Three. Four. If you are working on a bench and have more room to drop your arms back, you don't want to drop your arms past your head. So your arms should stop at ear level. If you're using the floor, it's virtually impossible to do that. But if you're using a bench, it's very easy to drop your arms way past your head. You are just cruising for a shoulder injury. Nine. So stop at your ears if you're on a bench. 10. 11. 12, 13, two more, we got it guys, 14, and 15, nice, so you can offload that weight to the side, set yourself back up, all right, so, you know, I said I'm not going to do it, but I'm going to give it a shot, this weight is definitely far too light for me for all of these exercises. So, I'm going to try to see if I can keep a grip and add these weights on. So bear with me for just one moment. I usually work more in a 30 range, if not more, for these. So, 
This will take me to 25. I'm just not sure if I'm going to give enough grip on the weight, but I'm going to give it a shot. So thanks for bearing with me. who's looking to get rid of some gym equipment, let me know. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to give this a shot. If I get frustrated and have to offload them, you just keep going, okay? All right. So we've got those rows. Set those shoulders back really purposefully. Open that chest. Then those knees. Set back. Bring it forward. Throw it back. Squeeze those strong back muscles. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Good job, guys. All right. Switch it out. Come down to the ground. Oh, made some cute little sweat angels on the floor back here. All right, set that weight to your chest before you lay back. Engage that core, set it back. All right, we've got that A-frame. So remember, depending on that body shape, you might be able to drop all the way down. Just not an option for me. Okay, set it up. Shoulders down, nice long neck. Drop it down, squeeze it up. Squeezing that chest at the top. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15. Woo! Good job. Remember, if you're really squeezing at the top, you should feel those pecs kind of squeeze them together, let it go. Squeeze them together, let them go. All right, we've got that dumbbell pullover. So we're going to cut that weight. Roll those shoulders down. Engage that core. Remember, we are pulling over with those big back muscles. Your shoulders are going to help, but I don't want you to use your shoulders as your primary mover. Really think of pulling with those back muscles to lift that weight back over, okay? All right, strap it back. talk a lot about the muscles you're using because for me the biggest game changer is knowing what muscles should be working and focusing talking to that muscle mentally and telling that muscle to do the work now sometimes if those muscles aren't strong yet you won't feel a lot of response but I promise it's working and once you get those muscles stronger you will really feel that work shift if you're not thinking about it and then you go, oh, back, 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 back. That's the muscle. Think about it. Squeeze that back. It works wonders. You'll really feel that weight shift, that work shift. 12 into where you want it to work. 13. 14. 15. Nice. I'll take that weight. Let's bring it up. So yeah, it's a it's an interesting thing to really think about. Like especially try with the with the pullover because you're really working these muscles back here, but these muscles are involved. So that first one I did with that heavier weight, 
my shoulders were really trying to carry the load. And I thought, no, stop, it's your back. Let your back catch you when you hit here. Let that back pull you over. And I can literally feel these shoulder muscles go bloop and just kind of relax. It is definitely a practice that you have to learn. It won't instantly happen. Um, but once you can really make that mind-body connection, it's really amazing what you can do um, as far as getting those muscles to respond how you want them to. So give it a shot. I really, really encourage you. It's one of the biggest game changers for me when I started lifting weights. Okay, so we got that row. Enough of Tracy's TED Talks on fitness. <laughs> Maybe I should do that. Let me know. Do you want to hear Tracy's TED Talks on fitness? Be happy to do that for you. All right, so I'm going to roll those shoulders back and down. We got one more set of rows. We're going to turn it. Whew. Set that weight back. Chest comes forward. Roll it back. that head in line with the spine. I mentioned before I'm real bad about keeping my head up. Keep that head in line with your spine. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 15. Good job. That was the last set of rows. Let's bring it down. Do that A-frame press. Dumbbell pull over. All right. Wait to that chest. Set back. All right. Roll those shoulders down. Long, long neck. Bring it up. Again, over our chest. Not our head or our throat. Squeeze in that chest at the top. <sighs> Ladies, imagine you're trying to make the nicest cleavage you can come up with at the top. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Awesome. All right. That dumbbell pullover. Ooh, I hear some thunder rumbling outside. Ooh. I don't know. If you're not watching from Tennessee, I think we have some storms coming. So hopefully we don't lose power if it goes dark. Sorry, the, the phone will keep going, but not so much the lights. All right, dumbbell pullover. Let's drop it back. Think big back muscles. One. Remember, friends on the bench, don't let that weight, don't let those arms drop past the sides of your head. Three. Four. Mother Nature's giving me some music now. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Almost there. Thirteen. Fourteen, last one. Fifteen, yes. Right, roll that weight off. Let's set it up. Awesome job, guys. All right. Oh, yeah, we're cooking on time. We're going to be perfect. We'll be over an hour on run time. But as far as work time, I think we're going to get right in an hour, which is perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. All right. So, all we have left is our core set. So, I know 
I don't need quite as heavy a weight for my corset, so I'm going to unload that. There we go. Perfect. All right. Like I said, sounds like some storms are coming. Uh, so, if I happen to lose power, I've got a candle going over here. We can uh, finish my candlelight if we need to. All right. Catch your water. Catch your breath. All of our core work will be on the ground. So go ahead and get your spot set up on the ground. If you happen to uh, toss it to the side after we just finished that set, go ahead and bring it back. Set it back up. We're not done. Hmm. So we are going to do a weighted waterfall crunch. I'll show you what all this is. And then we're going to do a side plank, a side plank up on the left, side plank up on the right. And that'll be our core set. All right. Okay. So keep catching your breath. I'm going to get another drink or two of water. Come check for any comments and we'll get going, especially since we've got this storm coming. All right. No new comments. So it looks like all is well there. So we will get started here quickly. I am going to give you a couple variations on side plank. So, I'm going to make sure we don't run too long as you want to give you some variations to consider for your side plank because that is a, a definitely, at least for me, um, I would consider side plank one of the like upper echelon of challenging exercises. But the beauty part about side plank is that you have a, a multitude of um, ways to scale the exercise up or down, whatever you need. So, it's perfect. I will probably... And if I'm not at the highest level, I'll probably be one, one step down from the highest level. Um, but let's get started. Don't want us to uh, get caught up in these storms for all my local friends. So we are going to do a waterfall crunch. So again, go ahead and grab your weight. Set it back. I keep saying grab your weight and set it back just because if you have heavy weights, if you're using a five pound weight, I'm not too worried about it. Unless five pounds is considered heavy for you, then this applies. Um, you don't want to have a heavy weight to your side and then reach out and grab it and try to pull it. That's just a, a dangerous position. So always grab your weight, hold it to your chest, to your midsection, and then lay back with it. So that's why I just keep saying that. All right, so waterfall crunch. We're going to lay flat on our back. We are going to lift our legs straight up to the sky. Take our hair off of our shoe. <laughs> okay. All right. Flex our feet so your toes are coming down towards you. We are going to lift that weight up above us and we are going to crunch up to touch our toes. So what I always say when we crunch, imagine you have a string tied to your chest that's pulling you up to the ceiling. So you're not crunching your head forward you're lifting up, okay? So we are going for, again, same range, anywhere between eight and 15, wherever you need to be. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, string, pulling that chest up, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right. So we're going to talk about our side plank variations. I'm not going to try not to spend a ton of time on it. I just want to give you your options. So I suggest you can do side plank from up here. For this exercise, I'm going to recommend you do it from your elbow. 100% your choice, okay? Your choice, but I'm gonna recommend for stability purposes, since we're incorporating a weight, to use your elbow. Again, your choice. So we're gonna stack our hips, knees, in a nice long line, feet behind us. I'm gonna set that elbow up under our shoulder, and we lift our hips. So that's variation one. The side plank is here. We are going to be holding weight on our hip. 
and lifting. I'm trying to find a comfy place. So this is variation one. Variation two is to extend that top leg. Lift. That is probably where I'm going to be. Fullest version is to have both legs extended here. So that's your ranges, or you can be here. That's just a lot of pressure with that heavy weight and that elbow and shoulder. Your option, if you're a side plank rock star, knock it out. I'm jealous. <laughs> For purposes of me being able to instruct and show you guys what to do, I'm going to be on my elbow, most likely, in the modified version. So, let's give it a shot. Just going to load that weight up. Find a place where it sits comfortably on your hip. Shoulder nice and strong and tall. We lift. Two. Three. So we're working these obliques. Think of that core lifting that side. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm going to stop at twelve. You can keep going. I'm going to switch sides. All right. So when you're lifting, I want you to think about squeezing. If you're modifying to a knee, don't think so much as I'm using my knee for leverage. Think of squeezing my side body to lift. All right. So, and I'm definitely, you know, I thought about not doing a side plank. This is definitely one of my weaker movements. But you know what? We got to be vulnerable sometimes. It's something I need to work on. So, you know, I was like, why well, be embarrassed that your side plank isn't the greatest thing you've ever seen before? It's okay. Be vulnerable. Show people. We're all at different levels. Even when we're professional, we still have weaknesses, right? Okay. So, set it up. So, you've got your modification here, here here or all the way up here, okay? Wherever you want to be. It's your workout. Remember, now we're squeezing through these obliques here on the bottom to lift up. All right. Let's go. One, two. So we're squeezing here. Three, four, five, six, seven, Hips 
this up. Remember, variation here, 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 wherever you want to be. Strong through that shoulder, not collapsing down here. Strong and tall. Let's lift it up. One, two. Squeezing that side body. Three, four.
let me know. I want your feedback. I don't want you to get bored. Um, I hope to continue doing this on some level, even after things return to the new, norm, new normal. Um, I hope to continue to at least provide one a week or maybe shift things around and figure out how to do this more often and uh, continue to offer this. So I would love to hear your feedback, good, bad, things you want to see. Um, if I were to offer more virtual, kind of paid virtual options, I would love to hear if you're interested, not committed to anything, but just let me know if that's something that you would be interested in. Um, especially, I know I have um, friends, family all over the country and people who I've lost just because they moved a little further away. So please, please, please um, let me know if you'd be interested in something like that. I'm definitely exploring my options to sort of open my eyes to some new things that we can try. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a wonderful weekend. Please share, get this work out in front of your friends. And remember, if you want to send me any donations, Venmo at Strong Style Fit is how you can get me. So thank you. I love you guys. I appreciate it. And have a wonderful weekend. I will see you Tuesday at 6. Bye, guys.